This is an ultrasound study of the sacred scan. Uh, our effort for bleeding for vagina being two months uh, as per patient. Uh, amenorrhea with the pregnancy test is positive. Now what we have to see first, I have been sent to rule out any possibility of cervical incompetence. So the cervix we are seeing is close, is, this is the cervix, this area. And this is the cervical region. And uh, this is the cervical canal. This is the internal loss. This is the interior wall of the uterus, the outer wall, the fundus, posterior wall, and this uh, black area within the endometrial canal is the gestational sac. This is the urinary bladder. So at least uh, we do not see an incompetent os because in that case you will see in incompetent os that the amniotic fluid will be entering in. There, there, this, there will be a curved shape or a V-shaped area with making within the entering the endometrial, sorry, the cervical canal like this. In cervical incompetence, you will see this area full of fluid and this area, that will be the open os. So here we don't see that. So bleeding for vagina with pregnancy of uh, early pregnancy, no evidence of uh, cervical incompetence. Now we are, I have magnified the view and we are seeing the cervix, mainly concentrating on the cervix and the internal loss. Here we are. Now you see that this is this cervical outline, the anterior lip of the cervix, this area, the posterior lip of the cervix, the cervical canal, and here you see the plug, the cervical plug in this region. This is the urinary bladder, longitudinal section. Cervix being seen is also uh, in longitudinal section. This is cervical canal. This is the cervix, all of this, and this is the plug or closed internal loss. We do not see any fluid entering into the uh, cervix. So there is uh, the cervical incompetence is ruled out. Now uh, another point to note is that uh, uh, in early pregnancies, we should not scan the patient with filled urinary bladder or overfilled urinary bladder as it will give pressure to the gestational sac and uh, any mistake can be made. So in this case however, we do see a fetal pole. First of all, I will describe the, let me describe the so, uh, the, so, uh, the gestational sac. Now this is this gestational sac X-ray and it is bonded by a rim of eco ecogenic rim which is not broken. Which, this is a double decidual reaction or uh, you say the trophoblastic reaction. Now this area, white area, longitudinal that you are seeing is the fetal pole. Then the fetal pole measures 8.9 millimeters. This is the uterus. All of this is the uterus in transfer section. Magnified view though. And this is the fetal pole. Okay, sorry. Now, <coughs> CRL says that it is a seven weeks. Uh